welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hey, hello, my name is Meg and we do crafty things here. So if you like crafty things, please do consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for subscribing and tuning in to another video. And today, well, you know, it's been a minute. And I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see because I've got a couple of bigger videos in the background that I'm working on that just aren't quite ready and would take more than like a good few weeks still to finish out everything I want to do to the level I want to do it. So I asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted to see and you guys said a Christmassy speed knot. So here we are. We're going to do a speed knot this week, uh, which is super, super exciting. Just in time for Christmas, here we are at Christmas Eve and I'm finishing the voiceover on this like the procrastinator I am. Anyways, this year, I mean, if you guys have watched my cleaning out my to-dos videos, you know that most of the holiday patterns I removed from my to-do list because when I wear a bracelet, I don't know if you guys are the same, but when I wear a bracelet, I generally wear it until it's like super grubby, stained, or like falls off. So for me, if I wore like a candy cane or Santa Claus bracelet or something all year round, that'd be really weird. And that's just like how I generally wear my bracelets until they get broken in really good. So I never made them because they weren't something I would wear year round. But now that the like wall hanging or knotting on a stick sort of trend is popular, there's a lot of bigger patterns just in general being uploaded and including Christmas patterns and holiday patterns. So I thought, okay, what holiday pattern could I do that's not super, super huge, but also isn't like super tiny? I wanted a good size wall hanging to do a speed knot for. And eventually I decided on this one, which is bracelet book pattern 62218. And it's a cute little Snoopy pattern. So yes, I don't know about you guys, but in my house, we always watch Christmas specials like every night leading up to Christmas. And one that we all love to watch was the Charlie Brown Christmas special. Like it's a classic, you know. So just like the Great Pumpkin, what is it? The Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown? The Charlie Brown Halloween one as well around that time of year we generally watch it but I thought this would be fun also because I haven't quite decided yet but I'm kind of thinking I might give this to my mom for Christmas and I know this sounds weird but my mom lives on the other side of the country and I have her presents bought I have my brother's presents bought I haven't been able to get them to the post office though because the post office hours and stuff are wonky because of everything that's going on in the world. So um, basically, I haven't sent the Christmas gifts yet, so I might still throw this in there. I might put like a nice, I don't know, like silk ribbon on it and make it like a Christmas decoration, or I might just keep it for myself and just give my mom what I have already got her. I haven't decided yet. But at any rate, I thought this was cute and fun. And because it's like a little wall hanging, it's like a decoration, I can tuck it away for next year doesn't have to be worn all year round. So it was a win, win. And here we are, Christmas Eve, finishing off this voiceover and I'm feeling the Christmas vibes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I was really, really Christmassy, then kind of less Christmassy for a bit there. And now I'm like, I have been amped this whole week. I don't know what it's been about this week. I've just been like checked out like mentally. I was already like, we are at Christmas break. I don't want to do anything. We're at Christmas break. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Get me to Friday now. And now it's Thursday night. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I know not everyone celebrates Christmas. So if you don't celebrate Christmas and you're still here watching this, I do appreciate it. Tell us a little bit about whatever holiday you celebrate. What does it entail? I know like everyone's always like Christmas, Hanukkah, but I know there are other ones out there. I know there's some that aren't celebrated around this time of year. Like I know um, I had a friend or a colleague, I should say, that uh, I used to work with and she celebrated Eid, which is not celebrated right at this time of year. So let me know about your holidays and what are some of the traditions that you guys do if you don't celebrate Christmas. 
if you do celebrate Christmas, just let me know what some of the family traditions are that you guys do. Um, for me, it's kind of weird because we moved to the other side of the country and don't really have any family here. So it's kind of a mix of old traditions, but not really any like tradition traditions. Like when I lived back home, like with my mom still, we would do like a Christmas party every Christmas Eve and have the neighbors over and do kind of like a potluck. Generally, I'd watch a Harry Potter movie and, you know, then they'd all leave. We'd all go to bed, maybe watch, depending on when they left, if they left early or not. Um, watch a Christmas movie, go to bed, wake up in the morning. We had like the same breakfast every morning. My mom would make her coffee. While she was making coffee, we were allowed to open stocking stuff, but nothing else could be opened. And it was kind of the tradition every year. And then every Christmas night, we would go to my dad's after Christmas dinner. And then we'd do our presents there. And then Boxing Day, we would either travel to my grandpa's house or he would come down to our house. And that was kind of like always our traditions. But now, um, because of where I live, like we don't really know our neighbors. And obviously because of everything that's going on, you can't have people over anyways. So um, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. We don't really do a party or get together. But some of the things, like some of the little things we still kept on and some of the things we started new, like we've started, my family was never one that did the matchy matchy pajamas, but now that I have like a little kid and stuff, I'm like, that seems fun though. So we got matchy matchy pajamas because that's the way I roll. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, more on topic with this. What are your favorite Christmas movies? I do enjoy this one, the Snoopy one. It's a classic, Charlie Brown, you know, can't go wrong there. Otherwise, I like one, I don't know if it's really considered a Christmas movie, but Rise of the Guardians, because it's got like the Easter Bunny and it's got, you know, I love that movie. I love the depiction of all of the, what do you want to call them? Like, I don't know, holiday entities and like the Tooth Fairy and stuff like that. But I love like... Santa is like this guy that carries around machetes and is all tatted up and like Jack Frost is in there and the Easter Bunny is like Australian and everything else. It's really cool. I really enjoy that one. That one is probably one of my favorites, but like I said before, I always watch generally one Harry Potter movie on Christmas Eve. Anyways, we're getting off track, so far off track. Let's talk about the wall hanging. So some of you guys may know, like months ago in the summer, I bought a giant pack of string from Wish. It took forever to get here, so I had bought other string in the meantime. And so I never actually started using that Wish stuff. I did break into it once for the Brick Stitch Alpha Nodding Dangerously video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it in the cards for you so you can take a look. But basically, my first impressions were pretty good of that. And because of that, I decided to give it a try on this one and maybe experiment a little further. So what I did notice is um, it does get quite fuzzy um, for the larger sections. So like the red sections and the background, like the dark blue in this, I definitely noticed the top part of the string where I was nodding was getting a bit fuzzier than the rest of the string, which means it did lose a little bit of its shine. Because if you guys remember, I was raving about how soft this string was and just how shiny it looked in the skein. Now it definitely fuzzed up a bit, which is kind of to be expected with how soft the string was to begin with. So I wasn't super surprised about that. And it did end up shinier than like a loops and threads, which is a very matte string in my opinion. Um, but definitely, definitely turned out really well. Now the one thing I didn't like was that there's a ton of skeins in that pack. And the only thing I didn't like was to try and find two skeins that were the same color. Some of them would have multiples in the same color with the same numbers and everything on the wrappers. But in the case of like the blue I used for the background, I had to pull out like every blue in the pack. None of them had the same numbers, but I ended up using two skeins in this. And the skeins are quite small, so I definitely needed two skeins. And they had completely different numbers on them, but they look identical. Like you can't tell I used two different skeins of blue for the background and you can't tell in person either that's not a trick of the camera 
but the number, like one of them had a three digit number, the other one had a four digit number. So completely different number codes. The number codes aren't consistent, which is kind of annoying because you really have to get the string under a good light to see if it's the same color or not. So that was really frustrating. Also, a lot of colors didn't have duplicates. So it's nice that there's a huge range of color, but kind of frustrating if you're trying to make bigger pieces like this or wall hangings. Um, if that's what you're into, I maybe wouldn't recommend. But if you're just making like a standard normal bracelet or a smaller bracelet, I think this string would still be fine. It did turn out really well in the end. Like the end product doesn't look too fuzzy or anything. It does, like I said, have more shine than a loops and threads project. And overall, I really like how this turned out. The string seemed to be pretty consistent as well. Sometimes when you get cheap string, um, like the thickness of it isn't as consistent because it's not, um, I don't know, the fibers aren't wound as nicely or as precisely as maybe something a little more expensive, but this turned out pretty good. There are a couple of things that for my own personal experience and stuff, I know I could have done better um, that maybe would have caused less rippling in the lines here. Like that was totally my fault. I should have pushed up my color changes a little more, but um, I didn't. I still think it turned out good though. I didn't do the triangle ends on this that I wanted to because this pattern actually ended up a bit longer than I thought it was going to. If you see here, it's like the size of my hand, like bigger than the palm of my hand. I was expecting it to be like closer to the size of the palm of my hand. So I didn't have quite enough string to do a full like triangle tapestry end like I normally do. So that was um, kind of sad, but I like the fringe look anyways. I think it looks cute. And here's the back. The back was really messy on this, especially because of how the lights like were dotted across. So that purple carried across and other strings got caught on it. So I cut off a lot of that also to reduce like the pillowing effect. Cause sometimes if you have a lot of color changes in the center here, you won't get a bumpy alpha, but it'll just be pillowed. Like if you look at the side of this, you can see like it's not bumpy, but it's kind of the whole center is puffed out a bit because of how much string was there. So I think if I were to, like, it's not super severe now that I've cut that excess out, but if I were to run an iron over it or a flat iron even, I expect it would flatten out pretty good. Or even if I washed it, if I washed it and then laid it out to dry, it would probably remove that effect altogether. But all in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks super, super cute. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little holiday speed knot. And I hope you're having a great Christmas Eve. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas tomorrow or whatever holiday you're celebrating. I hope you're having a great time um, getting by this year. The year is almost over, folks. We'll make it. We'll make it. Anyways, guys, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye.